Tesla dominates top four spots in most driven EVs survey. Tesla dominated the top four spots in a new survey from IC Cars, which showed the 12 most driven electric vehicles on average per year, with the Model X leading the way. The Model X averaged 10,378 miles per year, leading the Model Y with 10,199 the Model 3 with 9,960, and the Model S in fourth with 9,340. It appears EV drivers prefer a larger cabin for the more miles driven in a given year. As the two Tesla models that led the pack were an SUV and a crossover, respectively. Interestingly, the Model Y and Model 3, which are Tesla's two most popular vehicles, were unable to outmile the Model X, which appears to be the most suitable for longer distances. Among the rest of the data is the Hyundai Kona in 5th 8260, Chevrolet Bolt in 6th 7753, and the Audi e-tron Sportback 7210. The Porsche Taycan was the least driven EV in the survey placing 12th with only 4,846 miles driven per year. Which makes sense and aligns with its average price tag of $117,484. Many people wouldn't drive something as sporty for long distances. However, the true factor does not appear to be space in the cabin, but range. Analyst Carl Brower said that range anxiety continues to impact how consumers utilize their EVs. Looking at three-year-old electric cars, we see EV owners willing to drive an additional 23 miles per year for every additional mile of range their vehicle offers. That means EVs, on average, need an additional 161 miles of range to get them to the 12,578-mile annual driving distance we see from traditional, gasoline-powered vehicles. It also has to do with overall infrastructure. Gas-powered vehicle drivers have plenty of options for refilling, but EV drivers aren't as lucky, at least not yet. Tesla drivers enjoy the most robust infrastructure in terms of EV charging. And a vast majority, over 99%, of US-based chargers are specific to Tesla drivers. This presents a great advantage for Tesla owners, which seems to be the biggest factor in this study. In a gasoline car, regardless of how far you're going, there are always plenty of refueling options. And the process takes 5 to 10 minutes. Until EVs can offer that level of convenience at a comparable cost they will be at a distinct disadvantage in terms of use and market demand, Brower said. Tesla can offer the most comparable experience in terms of recharging or refueling, which is most likely why it dominated yet another survey. Tesla drivers come the closest to matching the driving behavior of traditional car owners, Brower added. Without Tesla, the average miles per year for EV drivers would drop from 9,059 to 6,719. It's also interesting to see the Porsche Taycan, a direct competitor to the Model S, being the least driven electric car source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. Tesla looks to expand apprentices at Giga Berlin significantly. A recent study by Universum showed that both Tesla and SpaceX were the most desired places to work for recent engineering graduates and students. In Germany, where Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin is cranking out Model Y vehicles, the company is looking to more than double its number of apprenticeships as young people are interested in working for the electric automaker. Last September, Tesla welcomed 120 apprentices and dual students at Gigafactory Berlin. Eager to train and prepare the individuals for a potential career at the automaker's German facility. However, it appears that Tesla is interested in expanding its population of apprentices at the factory. A new report from RBB24 indicates Tesla is looking to sign on 180 additional trainees, but they are right now hard to find.
Tesla is seeking out students in dual courses and is looking for those who are interested in a career in business administration, automation technology, or computer science. Tesla and SpaceX remain the most desirable workplaces for engineering students. We have had more training places than young people for a number of years, Joachim Freyer of the Frankfurt Oder Employment Agency said. However, Tesla and the employment agency both believe all training positions should be filled because the company offers share packages and a savings plan in addition to their salary. While several other companies in the region are attractive to students who are seeking a fresh opportunity, Tesla appears to be the most favorable for most of the candidates. One of them, named Leon, said Tesla protects our planet through sustainable production. Several of the positions have already been filled, including mechatronics engineers, IT specialists, and industrial clerks. However, Tesla is seeking more of those who might be interested in tool and foundry mechanics, which would be a production-based job. Source Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. Tesla Cybertruck was a tough product to design, says Elon Musk. The highly anticipated Tesla Cybertruck is on track for its official launch toward the end of the year. But as a new tweet from the company's CEO, Elon Musk, reveals, it wasn't an easy task to design and build the all electric pickup. We already know that the Fremont based EV maker will use a pair of huge 9,000 ton Giga presses from IDRA Italy, which will reportedly be used for stamping the vehicle's largest metal parts. In a bid to simplify the whole production process and lower costs, replying to a short video showing a Cybertruck prototype at Tesla's Austin, Texas Gigafactory. Elon Musk said that they're working hard to get the pickup into production and that it was a tough product to design, but that it will be great. In the past, Musk has said that he'll use the Cybertruck as his daily driver and was seen driving what appeared to be the latest development prototype onto the stage at the groundbreaking ceremony of Tesla's future lithium refinery. That particular vehicle was fitted with a never-before-seen roof rack that also doubled as a tool rack. Additionally, the carmaker's CEO said during the annual shareholders meeting that he expects the Cybertruck to sell between 250,000 and 500,000 units per year. Once production is fully up and running, which is quite an ambitious goal, Considering America's pickup truck sales leader, Ford sold just over 650,000 F-Series trucks altogether last year, including almost 16,000 all-electric F-150 Lightning vehicles. I'd say a quarter million a year is a reasonable guess and it might be 500,000, I don't know. We'll make as many as people want and can afford. It's going to be hard to make the cost affordable because it is a new car new manufacturing method so in the grand scheme of things relative to the production rate of all the other cars we make it will be small but still very cool when the cybertruck was unveiled back in 2019 it was supposed to start at around forty thousand dollars but the company has since removed all relevant data from its website including the price and technical details with this latest statement it looks like Musk is preparing potential customers for a potential price increase. However, nothing is official, so we'll just have to wait and see what the Fremont-based automaker has in store for its first ever pickup. Source. Reposted and summarized from Julian Nistrin at Inside EVS. Tesla vehicles drive more than any other EV. Tesla car owners certainly enjoy their vehicles a lot. According to the study, they drive more than the owners of any other EVs on the market. The automotive market is increasingly updated due to the release of new electric vehicles. Consumers are increasingly choosing EVs as their vehicles. An important part of this transition is the creation of electric vehicles with a long range and wide charging network that allows owners to move to different places. 
Tesla has succeeded on both fronts. Its electric vehicles have the largest range of any and its supercharger network is the most extensive in the world. That is why Tesla owners are using their cars much more frequently and driving longer distances, according to research from IC Cars via Drive Tesla. Tesla Model X is the most used electric vehicle. Owners drive an average of 10,378 miles a year. Tesla Model Y, with 10,199 miles per year, is in second place. Tesla Model 3 with 9,960 miles is in third place. Tesla Model Y is in fourth place with 9,340 miles per year. Thus, all Tesla cars are used by owners most often among all EVs. Meanwhile, Porsche Taycan comes in last place with 4,846 miles per year, well below even its closest competitor. Tesla drivers come the closest to matching the driving behavior of traditional car owners, said IC Cars executive analyst Carl Brower. Without Tesla, the average miles per year for EV drivers would drop from 9,059 to 6,719. It's also interesting to see the Porsche Taycan, a direct competitor to the Model S, being the least driven electric car. At 4,846 miles a year, it's driven about half as much as the Model S at 9,340 miles per year. The most driven three-year-old electric vehicles I see cars. One Tesla Model X2 Tesla Model Y3 Tesla Model 3 4 Tesla Model S5 Hyundai Kona Electric 6 Chevrolet Bolt EV7 Audi e-tron Sportback 8 Jaguar I-Pace 9 Hyundai Ioniq Electric 10 Kia Niro EV11 Nissan Leaf 12 Porsche Taycan Source Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian Tesla may choose new factory location by end of year. Tesla may choose a location for a new factory by the end of the year, Elon Musk said. The company already has factories in its largest markets, so it will be very interesting to know which country the company chooses. Tesla CEO Elon Musk was interviewed by the Wall Street Journal as part of his initiative to meet with publications supporting various political beliefs. During it, he stated that the company will likely choose the location of its next electric vehicle factory by the end of 2023. Well, we did make an announcement that Mexico would be our next location outside the US, we picked a site and everything, so there's that. And then, we'll probably pick another location towards the end of this year. The interviewer wanted to know in which countries Tesla is most interested. In light of recent rumors that a factory in India is being considered, he asked if the company was interested in that particular country. Musk replied, Absolutely. Recent rumors indicate Tesla will seriously consider India as its manufacturing site. India is a major automotive market. In addition, there is cheap labor there, which can make production in India even more attractive. In recent weeks, Musk has personally met with the president of South Korea and the president of France. Both presidents tried to get Tesla to invest in their countries. Representatives of the company also met with high-ranking Indian officials. Tesla already has EV factories in all of its major markets. The US, China, and Europe. The vehicles are manufactured at the Fremont factory in Giga Texas in the USA, Giga Shanghai in China, and Giga Berlin in Germany. Mexico will be the next country where the Giga factory will be built. Given that there will be three factories in North America after the construction of Giga Mexico is completed, it is likely that Tesla will consider expanding to another region. Apparently, the company will be looking to build a car factory for the production of vehicles on a new platform. So one will be needed in Asia for deliveries to the region and beyond. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian.